There's a famous quote, quote from, I think it was Einstein, where he said, I don't know what World War III will be fought with, what World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Do you ever worry that, I mean, the reason why, if it made sense that aliens would be here, it's because they want to stop us from blowing ourselves up. Do you ever worry that, like, we're so close to being able to figure out so many things, to be able to change the, all of your ideas, to be able to change the world fundamentally forever, but we could ruin it? Yeah, well, I think we're headed toward what we physicists call a type one civilization, a civilization which has the power to self-annihilate for the first time, but also the possibility of becoming a planetary civilization, a civilization of the entire planet. That's called a type one civilization. They control the weather. They control volcanoes and earthquakes. They harness the power of the entire earth. Then there's type two, they harness the power of the sun. And, for example, uh, Star Trek would be a typical Type II civilization. They've colonized a fraction of the Milky Way galaxy. Then there's Type three. Type three would be galactic, that they roam the galactic space lanes. They, they use black holes as their power supply. They use wormholes to go zipping around the Milky Way galaxy. And the empire of Star Wars uh, would be a typical Type three civilization. But what are we? On this scale, we are type zero. Yeah. We get our energy from dead plants. We settle our differences with weapons. And uh, yeah, we're type zero. But you can see that we're headed toward type one. Um, the language of type one will be probably English. Uh, the dominant languages on the Internet are English and Mandarin Chinese. And we're seeing the beginning of a type one uh, sports, uh, the Olympics and... Um, soccer. We see the beginning of a type one fashion with Gucci and Chanel. The beginning of a type one music with uh, rock and roll and rap and different trends. Uh, we're seeing the beginning of a type one civilization emerging right before our eyes. But w with that is the power to self-destroy ourselves. Uh, because we have the ability to use nu nuclear weapons, create designer germs, and uh, mess up the weather. And so it's a race against time to see which trend will dominate, the trend toward becoming a planetary civilization versus the trend toward self-destruction. It's fascinating that you think of culture as being a major part of a type one civilization. Things like rap music, things like fashion. Because of the sharing of these ideas globally, and the adopting of these ideas and, and these art forms globally? Yeah, you see, a planetary civilization like TEF-1 has a local culture. Different nations still have their own cultural language, cultural habits and whatever. But globally, they settle differences on a global scale. So they coexist with, on one hand, local culture, local languages, local dialects, local jokes and customs simultaneously existing with a planetary civilization that is emerging. So that's what I'm talking about. Mm. I'm talking about the emergence of a planetary civilization, or what we physicists call type 1, which is happening right before our eyes. Mathematically, if you get a sheet of paper and calculate when that'll happen, it'll be around 2100. So we're seeing the groundwork being laid today. Every time you turn on the TV, you see remnants of, I mean, you see uh, international sports, the international yeah. culture on TV. So we're seeing the beginning of a type one civilization. Yeah, it's interesting. The soccer has become much more popular lately. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right? And music, culture, mm -hmm. fashion, yeah. um, science, everything is becoming planetary. That's, the de that's our destiny to become type one. And the internet is the bridge for that, clearly. That's right. In fact, the internet is the first type one invention. Mm. So we're, we're privileged to be alive to see the beginning of the first type one invention, which is the internet.